So, what's happening everyone? It's Danny Black. Um, I'm quite sure you knew that because you're on my channel. Anyway, I was watching um, my guy out of Seattle, Fodum Yike, and he was doing, what did it say, budget studio portrait photography lighting tips. However, when he finished, he set out um, raw files. So, I'm going to go down so you can see. Uh, where is it? Uh, right here. Raw files for us to download and edit. So, I said, hmm. Let me edit someone else's work. So I downloaded one of the raw files and we're gonna edit with a quick little Photoshop tutorial. One of Mr. Photo Me Ike's, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, photos. So let's go. First thing I did was download. Um, let's go out of this. And I got a NEF file. That must mean Nikon. I've never um, shot with Nikon. So here it is, popped it up. It came in the camera raw. One thing I'll probably do is bring up some of the exposure. It's about right there. And open the image. So let's go. Waiting for it to open. And then we'll start our retouch. All right. So first thing you do, I double click, unlock it. And then I make a copy. Now I'll zoom in. And, you know, we start on anything that you may or I may, if it's my photo, uh, feel like getting rid of that may be a distraction to me. Um, the photo is perfect. The model is beautiful. This is going to be real nice and simple. But first thing I use is my spot healing. You can use healing or you can use a clone tool. Um, it's easier for me to just quickly spot heal it on out and I'm using the XP pen you guys know that's my tablet of choice instead of the Wacom tablet I have the XP pen uh, I'll leave the link in the description below very nice tablet not expensive at all so I'm just going around and checking spots that I may want to the you know not delete, but spot heal. Um, so, so what you do, you check, you zoom in and you zoom out. And I'm going to tell you something else that I didn't tell you guys before. I don't think on any of my other tutorials, my retouch tutorials. Um, and then you can map things with your XP pen so I'm doing all this from the tablet let's see let's get rid of that right there I don't know what that is <clears throat> excuse me um, let's get rid of some more of this little, these little things right here you don't have to it's always up to your choice or you know what you want to do I'm just giving you just a little tutorial on how I go and it may help, you know, maybe a way that you like. So we're going to come over here and do this under the eyes. I'm going to do it real fast. We're not going to take time, <clears throat> especially when the model is just this gorgeous. Go around. You know, things of like that. Let's go right there. Let's go around. Let's get that. Gonna go there. Um, usually I'll zoom in and out, but I already know these are certain things that I would do. And, and the reason for zooming in and out is to see. You don't want to edit something that's just make her look crazy. You want the photo to look as natural as possible because when a photo is, uh, when it looks like it's untouched, that's a great retouch. So slide out. So now we have slide out. Take a look at it. Okay, I see some areas that I didn't see when um, I had it zoomed in. So like right in here, oh, it jumped around. <clears throat> so right, like I said, right in here, I want to do that, um, slide this down, 
right in here. Oh, now I'm going to show you. If you hit R on your keyboard, you can turn. And sometimes you want to turn, let's zoom out, and look at it upside down. Because you may have missed things, seriously. And you may think this is crazy, but I'm serious. If you look at it from different angles, turning it, you'll see things that you probably miss. So I'm just rotating it around. All I did was hit the letter R and I'm gonna continue to um, you, uh, retouch it. So I'm gonna go hit J. It's gonna take me back to my brush, my spot healing brush. And I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I'm just gonna get spots that uh, I think I want to spot heal. Okay, hit R again, just keep turning. And if you ever want to go back to get out of the, uh, where it rotates, you just look up at the top right here where it says reset view. Hit that, now it's back exactly how it was, see, perfect. So I'm zooming in and I'm zooming out just to look around. I might go down here and get this right here, this little spot right here. So I'm at J again. I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to spot heal that. And I'm doing it real big. Usually I wouldn't do it this big, but we just want to flow. We don't want to be, uh, be so long doing it okay all right now I like that cool so that's pretty cool uh-huh no okay here's a this little piece right here I right, let's get that out of there Bam. let's get a little more pieces out of there cool 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 let's do that right there all right let's do that all right cool <clears throat> now we can move on so we're gonna zoom back out we're going to look around this part right here. I don't know if that is, but I didn't see it when it was zoomed in. So we're just going to do that right quick. Cool. I like that. All right. Like that. Like that. Cool. All right. Now what I'll do, I always make a copy. Command J. And we're going to hit our panel. And um, we're going to go from there. Let's see, that is an 8 bit photo, so we're going to our frequency separation 8 bit. Hit OK. Let it do its thing. All right, now we're going to zoom, make that disappear, and we're going to go right into our mixer brush. Cool, and up here we want to custom wet 1%, low 75, mix 90, flow 100, 10%. Make sure. This looks like the checkerboard. Make sure this is clicked in. <clears throat> do not push sample all layers. Again, do not push that. <laughs> do not tick that. So, we're going to back up off the photo. And we will start mixing. I want to make sure everything's right. Okay, cool. So now we're going to start mixing. Blending. And when you're blending and mixing, you can have your brush large, small. I use the bracket keys to make it larger or smaller. And we just keep going. Take it from there. So I'm on the nose right here. We're going to go down, get in there a little bit. I like it. Didn't it? So we're just playing with the sizes and mixing. And there we go. So you mix. Um, I can't say like follow a certain path, like go straight, go horizontal. I go how I see, <laughs> you know, mostly is vertical, but let's say I want to get into a spot where um, I'm more comfortable doing it vertical instead of horizontal. Then what I would do is is rotate the photo. So I'm going to show you guys that when I get to that. So it's up above the lip. 
Let's go right there. And all we're doing is mixing. Mixing, blending, mixing and blending, rather. I call it blending. And yes, it might leave the photo a little flat, but we can take care of that. We can take care of all that. So I'm just going around. And you want to really stay neat with it. Real neat with it. All right, so we're going to go here. I'm going go in here. Okay, I, I, I like that. So now I'm going to zoom in. And you see, you still see the pores and everything. I love that you can still see the texture of the skin. You know, you don't want to blend so much where you don't even see the texture smoothing. And, you know. So you definitely don't want to do that. I just want to get around here, around the mouth area, and above the lips. Right there, because you want it to blend. Okay, cool. Okay, now what I want to show you, I'm going to hit R. Now let's say you want it to blend by, hmm, right up in here. And you didn't feel comfortable on vertical so we're gonna go back to the brush my mixer brush and let's say you want to just come here because you want to get close to the hair but you didn't want to go down and have it blending into the hair so you turn it like this and look how easy that is because it's rotated makes it a lot easier you can get little spots you can get all the way up to the eyebrows because you rotate it so I just wanted to show you that right quick <clears throat> rotation. Now you want to go back, just hit R again, hit go up to the top right here, hit reset view, bam, perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we're going to zoom back out, we're going to look at everything. All right, now what we're going to do is I didn't do the hands, so we're going to go down to the hands. So go back to my mixer brush, and then we'll work on the hands. And work on the fingers first. And like I said, we're just gonna slide through this, not take so long, not making it, not making the edit look so fake. You still want it to look natural as possible. Natural as possible. Now we'll work on work ourselves over here on the other hand. And a lot of times, people forget to do the hands. A lot of times, people forget to do the hands. And you could just look at photos. And I know, I know we are mesmerized by the models, but we forget to do the hands. <laughs> um, and a model, that's the first place they're looking at their hands and arms so that's what women do because with a woman you could tell their age from their hands yep not all the time but majority of the time all right cool so everything's done i like that so we're gonna um close that in and now we're gonna dodge and burn so we open our panel back up uh, we're going to go to Dodge and Burn, DMB Curve Setup, click on that. Get the black and white visual aid from the action that came up. You see it says visual aid right over here in the right hand corner. Click that in. See it says Dodge and Burn. Click that arrow so we can go down to our Dodge and Burn. <clears throat> now, I have it on Burn. I like to burn first. And make sure you're over here in this bottom left corner. Make sure the front square is white. Now, if it's black, just hit X on your keyboard and it'll switch. You see how I toggle through? I'm hitting the um, letter X. So you want that white because this is black. So now, <clears throat> we just darken where the dark areas are and lighten where the light areas. So here we go. We want to, oh, also, I like to have my opacity 100 and my flow is about 3%. And I keep it like that. So now, I'm going to just darken the eyebrows. 
and you want to kind of look at makeup tutorials and see where they contour the face and that's what you want to kind of do imitate them so you can highlight the makeup that was applied and that's all I'm trying to do right now highlight where the makeup was and you can always back up off of it with your opacity so right now I'm doing it a little darker or lighter than I use I may have usually do it um, I usually will do it rather and I'm just following the lines I'm going up on the lips the cracks in the lip line wherever there is a shadow so I'm following I'm, I'm a kind of exaggerated because I can always fall back with the opacity always so wherever there's a line we're gonna bring it out so the collarbone right here I love bringing those collarbones out Mm -hmm. give the model that look so we're just gonna and I love using this pen you see I could just float around the screen real fast using this um, X pen so we're gonna go right here I, I could have frequency separated a little bit more right there in the hair on our hands <clears throat> I probably didn't see it I probably had the picture I don't know <laughs> To go back where we can always go back so I'll highlight a little bit right here right here and we'll darken go around here go around the eyes a little bit so we're really gonna make a pop yep really gonna make a pop all right cool so now we're gonna go to the dodge and you know what that is you lighten spots where it's light and highlight so start on the forehead and come down the nose it's really I might should have had this on three two percent <clears throat> the way it's showing up it's probably the pressure of uh, my brush because I'm probably pressing real hard um okay I like that I like that let's go in here and do this I usually do this the inside of the eye later on but I'm gonna do it right now all right now we're gonna go right here you really like to make a triangle and then hit the cheek off the highlight part I'm just gonna highlight that I'm gonna go right here where it's already got a little highlight on it right here that little lip line perfect then under the chin Bring that out a little bit. Bring that out. Bring that out. Bam. All right, we're gonna go down these fingers. With a light hit, you could you see the little light streak where it shined, a, made a little line from the beauty dish that was used. We're gonna highlight that. Cool. All right, so we're gonna highlight right here too where the beauty dish is. As you can see, it's like clamshell lighting because you can look in her eyes. So you see, that's the beauty dish or whatever he may have used. And right here is um, a reflector or could have been another light. Always, you could, you could kind of um, look at the light and the subject's eyes to kind of tell exactly where things were. So I'll make my brush a little larger and highlight right there and right here and over here just really soft touches and i'm gonna do the hair a little bit just a little bit where her hair you could tell there's little streaks in her hair so we want to highlight that a bit all right cool now that's finished we want to delete the visual aid go up there hit delete bam see that nice and clean so from here um basically finish i'll blow it up so we can hold on a minute, so you can see see how nice and clean it is you still see the pores we brought out the colors in her eyes really nice they look like marbles um so i'll back up off this and um from here i could be finished or 
we can play with the colors and I'm gonna play with a few colors just to show you how you can play with the colors or we can add some a little sharp and clarity to it so when I do that let's first go up here and we're gonna hit command option shift and E all at the same time so what that's gonna do is you see right here it made a copy of all this but it didn't merge all that so you don't want to merge all that you just wanted to make a you know copy of all that merged and then on top of it so now we have that and what I'll do is make a copy of that then I'll go into my uh, filters we're gonna go down here to sharpen we're gonna go to unsharp mask click on that and what it's gonna do is gonna give it a little just a little bit you see my radius is 4.4 probably is enough so I'm gonna hit OK now once I do that I check it if it look too sharp I don't like it so we look it so we're gonna toggle the eye on and off to see what it did you see it barely did anything and that's the way we like it so we're gonna leave that now once we do that zoom back out now you can play with your colors with her being light a light uh, skin model I wouldn't play with the colors. If she was dark, I would definitely play with the colors because it really would, you know, add a little something to it. So, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So you can go to this adjustment, click, hit your black and white. Now, the skin is made up of red and yellows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the red down. And you see how her skin is getting dark? I'm gonna bring the yellow down too. Now, I'm not going to leave it like this, but I'm going to show you. This is my little secret I usually do. So I go to the opacity and I bring that down. Now, you see how it gave the skin a different color? So here's the original. Here's when you're playing with the colors. And I do this all the time. And when I get it here, you still can go back into your black and white. And you still play with it. You see that? You can still bring that down. And then you could leave it like that and throw a saturation on it. Let me show you. Throw a vibrance. And you could really bring it back brownish with a with a bronze. You see, now our skin looks bronze. Egyptian-like. So I'm going to group that. So you can see what I'm talking about. Let's group that together. Where is group? Okay, group from layers. Okay. Cool. Now I'm going to toggle that on and off. See, that's the original. That's bronze. So I do that a lot. So when you see people and their skin tones are looking like that and they got the presets and they're selling their actions, it, that's, this is exactly what they do. So I'm just showing you a little secret of the sauce. But I'm not going to do that because this is not my picture and this is not my model. And, you know, I'm going to leave it the way I got it. <laughs> so from here, I would do, I would put... I'll uh, try this little highlight. So anyway, you go here to the adjustments. You hit, <clears throat> you hit uh, curves. Bring the curves all the way up like this because you're gonna adjust it. Now you got the curves popping like that. Double click on the curves and it's gonna bring up your layer style. Go down to your underlying layer and start bringing it down all the way down to the parts you like want to highlight you see how it looks like a contour and then you got the little lines on the hands and the fingers so that's cool you want to stop right there now you see this little thing that looks like a spade go right there hit option and click on it it split it apart now you start bringing the right one over and look how the picture is highlighted got nice highlights on it now so hit ok but you don't want to keep it like that. You can leave it like that, but you don't want to um, leave it like that. You see? You see how I gave it a highlight? I'm clicking it. I'm toggling the eye on and off. See that highlight? No highlight. Now, you can leave it like that. And if you want to be lazy, then go to the opacity and just bring it down. Or you could have the opacity still up. Click on the curves. Hit Command-I. It inverted it. Now you could paint the highlight in. Go to your brush. Bam. Now where you want the highlight at, like, you know, girls love that highlight on their cheek. You could just paint it in. Just 
paint it on in. You know they like that highlight right there. Just paint it, paint it on in. Okay, you can put some on the nose. Um, put some right here. Put some on the finger, fingers rather. And all we're doing is really painting the highlight in. Almost like we're dodging it, but we're not. We're painting the highlight in. Yep. Bam. So, uh, that's pretty cool right there. Paint a little highlight in right here. Paint a little bit more right here. Paint a little bit right where on her nails, where you see a light shining. I'm going to paint a little bit right there. And a little bit more right here. Because we really want to get that cheek of highlight. Cool. I'm going to go in the eyes a little bit more. Okay, you don't want to get carried away. All right, that's cool. Now I'm finished. Now I throw my name on it, but it's not mine, so I'm not going to throw my name on it. And I'm going to keep it, and I'll let um, I check it out. So we're done. Now we, we go over our picture. We zoom in to see if we made any... Uh, if we edit too much, because you don't want that, but you see it's beautiful retouch. The pores are still there. Everything is blending. It's just a beautiful photo with a beautiful model and a dope photographer. Y'all check out Photo Me Ike. He's out in uh, Seattle. I almost said Chicago. I'm in the Chicago area. And we're done. So I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks for tuning in um, with this quick Photoshop uh, retouch uh, <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> retouch tutorial and man hit the like please subscribe um thanks for stopping in go tell a friend and hit the bell and y'all get notifications because i'll be doing more retouch tutorials um outside shooting behind the scenes and things of that nature i'm doing a lot of retouching tutorials because it's something that can help you out and benefit you and i could do it real fast and i don't need a model to be here to do it so, man, appreciate everyone, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm at 200 and some subscribers. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that because being a YouTuber, when you start, you're like, man, I just want 10 subscribers. <laughs> you know, I'm at 250, so I'm really appreciative. Anyway, thank you for stopping in. And y'all know, as I always say, holla at you. See you later. Peace.